Hello dear students today we are going to learn how to do cave painting with coffee for that you need white sheet brush coffee white crayon white paint pencil and palette if you don't have white paint you can use white crayon also these are some examples of cave painting so first we'll take a white sheet i have taken here my art book and i'm doing border to the drawing as we do always at least draw 2 cm border you can see i have taken some coffee on my palette due to the keeping it for long time it has got moisture so don't worry i'm just mixing little bit water in that make it like tea consistency water should be more in your coffee powder blend it nicely and now very slowly give a wash on the paper take enough water in your coffee powder your brush should be wet throughout painting Move it very slowly. Don't be in a hurry to just finish it. To your knowledge, in ancient days, uh, the material used in the cave paintings they used to use natural pigments created by mixing ground up natural elements such as dirt, red ochre, and animal blood with animal fat and saliva. Now as you can see my painting is dry paper is fully dry now i'm going to use very little water in my coffee and this is a dark coffee so with very little water i'm going to start doing my animal figures so for your information also in those days they didn't have Camlin brush like how we have nowadays so they used to have handmade brush from a twig and blow pipes made from the bird bones spray paint into the cave wall now first i have done neck i've done the body now i'm drawing the legs now if you have observed the cave paintings you won't find animal standing position you will find them either running or you know chasing something so i'm not showing the legs in a standing position i'm showing them in a running position so as you can make out yes it's a deer If you don't have coffee you can also use brown color paint to paint the surface. Now here I'm showing a person in some action. If you see he is holding a spear in his hand and it's trying to kill the animal. In olden days the only resource of food was hunting. So in most of the cave painting you will see either human being is doing hunting or they are doing some kind of farming but farming was seen quite later So here I'm showing another human being in some action and he is also holding bow and arrow in his hand and trying to hunt the animal So children whenever you will do any kind of uh animal or human figure in the painting try to show them in some action
Cave art is significant because it was what people in prehistoric times did in order to record history and culture. But prehistoric cave art was also significant because it has also served as a warning to people who were to come later. For example, they could show the way to kill a beast or warn them of a beast. So with nothing to draw or paint, they used to use cave as their canvas. So we have seen uh, cave paintings not only depict hunting or farming but they also depict some celebration. So I am drawing here four human beings who are trying to celebrate probably hunting or something. Like this you can go on adding animals in a running position or doing some farming. You can draw bull, you can draw horse, you can draw deer, you can draw some human beings also in action. Try to create a story in your cave painting. Here I am going to use white crayon to add some more figures to give it a natural look. If you don't have white crayon you can use white color paint. In those days they must be using limestone or some rocks. They also used to use charcoal to do the cave painting. So if you have charcoal pencil at home you can use even that. Now I am going to do more figures with white crayon. Now here I am going to use little bit black crayon at the edges so just give a little bit black color shading in the corners of the paper try to blend it with your finger or you can use even a rough cloth be very careful the blending shouldn't go outside the border otherwise it will spoil your artwork 